Hello everybody and welcome back to the chateau. I am tidying up, clearing up, getting the place looking good because it's time to move. Wood, wood, everywhere. And we are nearing the end of winter, so we need to tidy up. <sighs> this lot's come out of the back garden. So this is just getting split up, and I'm gonna go and stack that, and obviously some more from here, in the, uh, in the woodshed at the pub, because that's seasoned, the edges of that will dry out over a little bit, there's a little bit there. Uh, go through this lot and try to get tidied up in here, stuff stacked to dry. Because of course, with that massive tree in the back garden, there's more coming. All right, let's sneak up on what I've just seen out of the window. Mm. Okay, well, they're getting very, very brazen, the uh, koi poo, because they're actually quite happy swimming around at a very early part of the day. Right, I need to get that wood away, which will clear lots of that stuff up, that's to help. And then what I need to do is I need to get rid of things that are lying around. So the horse box bar, there's a golf buggy, and I need to get the big mower away for a second because that's in pieces anyway, it doesn't work. So that will help tidy up, gets me somewhere. Yeah, let's get that done.
Oh, look at this. I'm going to have to clean these up a bit and weed that edge. But, oh, spring is definitely in the air because all of the pink for these elephants' ears are coming out either side. And the camellia bush is over there. I mean, look at those. They're, uh, they're lovely. Look, nosy neighbour on the driveway. Not a neighbour, just someone nosy. Yeah, look at that. So pretty, these. Look at those. Oh, it is. It is a beautiful, beautiful place. Oh, that's the, what they come, they, hang on, what else have we got? Uh, oh, what are these called? The um, butterflies like them. That needs a little bit of help. And then these purple. Life is starting to arrive back to the garden. And it's feeling all quite pretty. So with how beautiful it is looking, listening to the birds which are coming back i mean they never really go there's always some birds around but it's always nice you can just tell spring can't you the flowers start coming out there's daffodils out the front we're hearing the birds so when it's this nice a place to be and it's starting to look pretty and i'm clearly enjoy it i think i probably need to explain my thought process and my decision making of why i decided to move all of the stuff that i don't want to be here uh, it's been just over a year since Andrew and I split. I said to myself the first year, don't make any decisions, see how you get, you know, see how you feel at the end of the first year. And you know what? I still don't feel any different. I've got no ideas um, regarding what I want to do longer term with the place or not be here. But what I do want to do, because I think that makes it easier, is I want to get rid of everything and anything that I can to the workshop. I've got space, I've got a container, a shipping container there. So all of the stuff that needs to be fixed, repaired, or, or actually just, you know, let go of and get rid of, uh, can go. So this becomes just a home, less of a place where I'm always working. I don't mind decorating, I don't mind fixing everything, but if you're constantly looking at all the things you still need to do, you never enjoy it quite as much as you could, as if, you go down to a shipping container because the workshop is only five minutes down the road. Um, grab the item, bring it back if you need to, or fix it there and bring it back and then life's wonderful. But I do need to look at this place more as a home. Um, you know, there's somebody I care about quite a lot and I respect um, her opinion on things. And she just turned around and said, I don't think it's been a home for the last year. It's just been a place that you've gone to sleep. Um, and absolutely right, that's to be expected, but I do need to clear everything away, almost get a blank canvas, and then do you know what, if I don't want to be here and things change um, later down the line, it doesn't matter because so much stuff has gone and so many of the outstanding projects are done and things look neat, tidy and clear, you're already in a better position to make those big changes if that's what you decide on. Um, so. I do have lots and lots to do because I've got to clear any outstanding jobs need to be finished, everything needs to be look neat and tidy and you know sort of work through a load of stuff. So kind of excited and I hope you'll bear with me while I am going to well you know what run at it. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye now.